Learning that your child has autism would be devastating for any parent. What type of treatment will your child need? What will their future be like? And how will you manage your own needs and the needs of your entire family? Those are just some of the questions parents face. Our colleague and KPRC morning meteorologist Britta Merwin recently went public about her own family's journey. Tonight, anchor Rachel McNeil shares Britta's story and how she's hoping to help other parents navigate the overwhelming decisions they will face. The signs, the symptoms, the diagnosis. Autism changes everything in an instant. To hear it was so much to take in. You just, I felt like kind of the world just stopped for a minute. For Channel 2 meteorologist Britta Merwin, this is a personal story. Her son was diagnosed at two years old. Of sunny skies, low humidity. An exchange with the Channel 2 viewer provided Britta the opportunity to open up about her family's journey during Autism Awareness Month. For the past two years, I've worn my blue puzzle piece every single day of April. For me, it's not only supporting autism, but it's a personal journey for me too. How's it going? Dr. Sonia Montero works with children and families at the Texas Children's Hospital Autism Center. She helps parents understand the diagnosis and what comes next. Dr. Montero says there are early signs of the disorder evident in a child's behavior. In terms of social skills, uh, we might notice that they don't make eye contact as frequently. So they might not respond if their parent talks to them. From a communication standpoint, a lot of uh, children have uh, delays in their speech and language development, um, so they might not be using words, you know, by their first birthday. Britta says her son showed those symptoms. The ones that are newly diagnosed. Britta recently sat down with a group of Houston moms who were also raising children on the spectrum. When he was a baby, he was actually a really easy baby. Um, but no eye contact, didn't want to do anything, even like roll the ball back and forth, didn't really play with toys. I knew something wasn't right. I just um, could see the tantrums and the meltdowns and that I would call her name over and over and she wouldn't answer. I, I knew I could go somewhere and get her the help that she needs. <laughs> But it was scary, too, because I don't know what her future is going to look like. It's been two years since her son's diagnosis, and Britta says she's learned so much about raising a child with autism. First, she says, trust your gut. No one knows your child like you do. Early detection is key. The earlier you can start therapy, the greater chance you have of helping your child succeed and get over some of these challenges. Next, make a plan for your child's treatment. Your child needs certain therapies and services to help your child, and that's going to be individual to each child depending on what your kid is going through. This last one may be hard, but Britta says it's absolutely necessary. You have to take care of yourself. It's very easy to get burnt out, exhausted, depressed, and if you are not ensuring that you are healthy, you're not going to be able to advocate for your child. Dr. Montero says the diagnosis can be overwhelming, but with the proper treatment and therapies, there is hope for children on the autism spectrum. When I see those children who get plugged in to intensive behavioral interventions and I see them come back um, and I see the progress, I think it's probably the best part of my job. I wanted to share my story because I wanted to help other parents. And one thing that I found in our journey with autism is the best resources I found is by talking to other parents. Britta has created a parent's guide to autism to help walk parents through the steps from diagnosis to therapy. She covers things like insurance, schooling, and treatments. You can find it in the health section of click2houston.com. Tomorrow morning on Channel 2 News Today, I'll talk with Britta about the amazing strides being made by Houston area children living on the spectrum. Rachel McNeil, KPRC, Channel 2 News.